Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you some websites where you can get paid to basically do data labeling online. One place to check is Amazon Mechanical Turk. Amazon Mechanical Turk is a place where they're owned by Amazon. This is a place where you actually get paid to do micro task jobs. So instead of getting paid by the hour with micro task jobs, you get paid by the job you complete. A lot of times these only take a few minutes or an hour or two at a time. So with these, you just sign up up at the top there where it says learn more, you can actually use your existing Amazon account to sign up. And they have a lot of different types of jobs you can do. They have like four main categories. So you'll notice that they have things like under image and video processing. They have something where you can basically get paid to like tag objects found in an image to improve search or advertising targeting. Another thing you'll find is they say classifying and identifying objects found in satellite imagery. So you have a lot of different classification, tagging, and categorizing types of jobs here. And then you also have data verification and cleanup jobs, like removing duplicate content, verifying restaurant details. You have information gathering, where you'll be writing content, finding specific fields or data elements in certain documents. And you also have things like data processing, where you could be doing like transcription, translation, search result, rating, and those types of jobs. So if you just want something extra on the time, or some extra work that you can do on the side, you can do uh, Amazon Mechanical Turk. They have a 3.1 out of five rating specifically for MTurk out of eight reviews under their Amazon page. And an MTurk worker, if you look at how much people say they've made on an hourly basis here, you have three people that said they average between 18 and 25 an hour. Next, we have a company called RWS. They have jobs all over the world, some of which look something like this, where you would be a data annotator for AI models. This is something you can do remotely, part-time at home without a typical interview. So this is something you can do for $14 to $20 per hour as a contractor or a freelancer. And it's generally gonna take about four to six hours per day for several weeks by the project. So experience, no prior experience required, education, no education requirements, and they want you to start ASAP. Typically the project duration is four to six weeks as well. They also mention right here that they attract a lot of like stay at home parents, students, gig workers, et cetera, looking for something part-time outside of school or outside their regular job. So with this type of job, what you would do is data annotation or evaluating of text or audio and speech samples briefly describe audio or speech sample contents or rewrite the generated captions, assigning applicable categories, speech and or video recording. So benefits are basically just flexibility. You're not gonna get a lot of benefits here as far as like insurance or 401ks or anything like that. Uh, timely payments are also made directly to your PayPal or bank account. And equipment required here is not too bad, really. I mean, you just need an email account. Uh, Windows or Mac is um, they are both actually accepted here and you may need a computer and headset and that's about it. And as far as what it's like to work here, they have a 3.5 out of 5 star rating. Next, we have a site called Data Force, which is actually by TransPerfect. Now, they sometimes have different data annotation jobs here that you can do typically without an interview. The thing is, you have to just come and check this website every once in a while if you're interested because basically, sometimes they'll have these on-site and sometimes they'll have these remotely. So for instance, if you wanna look at remote only, you can just go to remote here under the work model. And right now, it doesn't look like they have specifically a data annotator available remotely. But just to give you an idea of what it's like, you can see kind of a job description for one of these. Again, this is not specifically on a remote basis, but this is just to give you an idea of when they do have remote ones available, what it's going to look like. It's going to help improve artificial intelligence and technology. So this is gonna have a lot to do with speech or text recognition, input methods, keyboard and swipe technology and other areas. So with this one, you're focusing a lot on obviously language data annotation. So with this one, they need you to be fluent in whatever language you're doing this in and have good, excellent, you need both excellent writing and spelling skills in that area. Um, sometimes they do want a language education background or relevant experience in data analysis, annotation, or any of that stuff, but that's considered a plus and is not necessarily a deal breaker when you're applying. So what you would do is data annotation and labeling. You'll accurately annotate and label large volumes of language data to train and improve AI-driven speech recognition and natural language 
processing model. So right there, what we're looking for, labeling data online to help improve AI. You'll also do some quality assurance, um, some reporting and things like that as well, and some documentation. But again, this is not specifically the job I would recommend because this one's not remote, but it gives you an idea of what is possible here. And they do sometimes have these available remotely. So as far as what's like to work at this company specifically, um, they have a 3.1 out of five star rating for TransPerfect. And usually something like a data annotator averages something like 38 to 60,000 a year if you were to work full-time hours, which is closer to something like maybe 19 to almost $30 an hour. You also have a company called dataannotation.tech where you get to work from home. You see they have some pretty solid Indeed reviews here as well. You have flexible hours, you can work from anywhere. Uh, you have free training, transparent pay. You don't have to have experience and you also get to choose your own project. So this is probably gonna be more of like a, uh, a kind of a AI micro tasking site here. So they say you get paid $20 per hour and more. So it looks like the minimum is usually about $20 per hour. We'll look at some averages here in a second for what it could go up to. Um, it's very flexible, of course. You get to choose when you work, how much you work, and you also get to choose your projects. And then as far as how much work will be available to you, they say unlimited work will be available to you depending on how many long running projects they have. But I would say don't count on this as a full-time income. And they have all sorts of data collection projects here. So surveys, interacting with chatbots, creating write, creative writing tasks, much more. And they have many others. There's also no specific background experience necessary here. So basically you just start an account here, which they are accepting people right now in the US, Canada, UK, Ireland, New Zealand, and Australia. And then you take the starter assessment. That's what you do instead of an interview here. And then you start working after that. So as far as reviews, they have a 3.8 out of five star rating. They also obviously have a link to their Indeed ratings as well. And if you look at how much people have said that they earned here, again, you start at around $20 an hour according to the site. And anything like a data annotator, AI trainer, remote AI trainer, and a data annotation specialist. I would say any of those four could qualify for what you would be doing. And on the low end, you're obviously looking at, uh, looks like about 17 an hour, which they say is usually going to be as low as 20 an hour. So that's pretty close to what they say the low end is right there. But if you look at the top three with the most reviews, you're looking at somewhere like 25 to 46 an hour. Now, last but not least, we have a company called MicroWorkers. This is another micro-tasking site where, again, you get paid by the job usually instead of it being an ongoing project. But this is a place where they just have a lot of different types of gigs here. And they actually have like these templates where uh, people who need to hire for these gigs, they use these templates to post jobs instead of them having to craft everything from scratch over and over again. So that's kind of one unique feature about MicroWorkers. They have all these different types of tasks and basically it allows you to see what all you can actually do here. So if you look up anything related to like labeling or data annotation, you'll find quite a few different jobs on here. So for instance, one of the very first ones at the top here is an image annotator, which is under the data annotation category here. So for instance, this has to do with uh, people who are looking for different things in images. This one has to do with recognizing like acne for whatever reason or skin imperfections in people's headshots. You also have categorization as a category here. You have video annotation as well. I'm not really sure what that means. I guess you would be watching some sort of video which and you would somehow label that. But sometimes another thing about them is they'll have multiple um, types of jobs under the same category. So for instance, we've already seen data annotation mentioned a few times. We've already seen, seen image annotation mentioned a few times, but with this one, you will emphasize the structure of a building. Whereas the other one they had to do with uh, pointing out like acne on someone's face to help with facial recognition. So they have all sorts of different types of jobs like these in these different categories. And as far as what's like to work here, they have a 4.1 out of five rating. They don't really have a lot that tell you like how much a typical micro tasker makes. But if you look at just the average between the two that are on here, 
which are more specified to a particular job instead of just a general contractor. Um, these are close to around the mid 20s. So you're looking at maybe 26 to 28 an hour on average. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home content like this. If this was helpful, please click the like button so I know what type of content you prefer and I'll see you in the next video.